Hey everybody, we're down here at the creek today. Um, I got a little bit of time off work, so I figured I'd do some work on my hydroelectric system. This right here are two 12 volt generators. And um, I've got about 300 foot of pin stock on a about a 20 foot drop. And I have a dam up there that's about 15 foot of height. And I've probably got about fit, well, probably about about 13 foot of head pressure water. But I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I picked up today. Let me grab the packaging right here. So I just picked this up at Harbor Freight. It is our charge controller, and it seems to be working. But we'll test our outputs right quick. We'll use the fluke meter and see what we got going on. So, you see we're taking hydroelectric power right here and feeding the battery. Now, I have output power right here. I plan to put good connections on everything tomorrow. But, uh, let's take the fluke meter right here and do some test readings and just see what we have right here. What we've got coming into the uh, charge controller. I can wire these into series and get 24 volts, but I don't want to overload the charge controller. But, what we'll us see what we got right here off of these two generators. So, I know it's for a charge, con or I know that this charge controller is for a solar panel, but I mean, it's, I mean, 12 volts is 12 volts. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug it. And you can see that the light went off right there. So, you know, we're no longer charging. So let's get in here right here and see what we got with the old fluke meter. This is a good one here. So. Right there we have input voltage. Of 15 volts so I brought something else down here I bought the other kit too that had the wiring kit this right here is supposedly your solar tester we'll just plug it in you see we have output power from the generators and I have another little LED strip right here that I test. I mean, it puts a good bit of load on the generators. And this is one of my, let's test my variables here. But you see, we're making a decent amount of power. Now, I don't know if a, if a 10 watt solar panel would light that up. I don't get a lot of sun where I'm at right here. So I needed something that I could charge my batteries up without having to depend on solar. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I have lights in my pond that work off of a solar or a, uh, a photo cell. So when the photo cell, whenever night falls, photo cell kicks on, closes the circuit up, and um, it lights it up. The, the generators alone will not run the light. They would if I wouldn't have to run such a, a long cable up here or to them. But it's all fun. I can use the, the battery as a storage bank. So right now we got it plugged back in and it says charging. So we should be good. We'll check what our, uh, our voltage is right here on the battery. Now it ran all night. It's a 10 watt light from Amazon. And right now we're sitting Get where I can get a good connection. I'm trying to stay out of the camera light. So we're sitting right here at 12 volts on the battery. So I don't know at what point that this charge controller cuts off. I believe that the photo cell does draw a minute amount of electricity. That way it can, um, I guess when, that way it can detect the light and everything. But this right here is the, uh, charge controller I went with. 
I was running one of these Amazon ones. And I had a lot of problems with it. I noticed that I was back feeding power from the battery to my generator. So that meant that the, uh, that the rectifier in this thing was bad. So it was allowing power to flow from the battery back through the charge controller, back to my generators. And it was putting a hell of a load on them. I wasn't able to, uh, to really do nothing. I'm not sure if this thing will register power output if I was to take the lead off. Well, it says low voltage. So we'll, we'll just see if it shows an output amount. Okay. So it looks to me like our output voltage. Um, let me get on the terminals here. So our, our charge, our, uh, our generators are able to sustain this. So let's just, um, let's see what this is here. Okay. So it looks like our, uh, our output voltage on our charge controller is right at nine volts. I'm not sure if that's a, like a trickle charge or whatever, but that's still output. So that's good. I might put this in a 24 volt setting. I know that they're rated for 22, but it might draw down enough power just running the charge controller and it, 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 it might give us more amps. It might, well, I know it'll give us more voltage, but let's put this thing back together. But what we're gonna do first is cut the generators off. And the way I do that, is opening up my bypass valve. So when I open my bypass valve off, or when I open it up, that shuts my generators off. Now I do have one reserve generator that I can tie in right here. And I have ran three generators at one time, but right now it's a flood season, or not a flood season, but it's a drought, and it does pull down on my pond a good bit. The instructions say to hook up the battery first so I really want this one to work correctly I don't want any kind of problems with it so we're gonna do just as 100% as it says it also notes to, to never never reverse the polarities that's what will burn up your rectifiers I'm sure let's make sure we get a good connection so and it's just a crude setup down here right now. I plan, you know, once I get everything good to go and how I like it, I want to mount everything up really nicely. So let's kick this generator on or these two generators on and let's see if this thing will work. Okay. So it says that we are charging. So it is detecting input power. I believe that um, this Harbor Freight solar charge controller is going to work. Our battery's sitting here at 12 volt DC. Um, let's see what our output power here is. This will be the output. Wait a minute, I gotta reverse my polarities. Okay, so our output is 12 volt. So that's good. Everything's 12 volt all around the board. Um, hmm. This thing might work. What I'm gonna do is I have an old dough tray from Papa John's that I'm gonna keep this covered with until I can build me a little watertight structure. But uh, yep, if you guys like videos like this, you want more information on it, then uh, Please make sure to like and subscribe. You're watching the Palmetto Outdoor Experience. You guys have a great day. God bless you all. Thanks.